Family members' worst fears were confirmed this afternoon following the death of Roald Grunham. The 19-year-old GTI student was hospitalized at the St. Joseph Mercy Hospital with injuries to his head and other parts of his body following a beating in the vicinity of the Route 45 Park at Stabrook on Friday afternoon. His father, Roald, and Aunt Marcy spoke to this newscast at the hospital shortly after he was pronounced dead. Yeah, then I broke a roll, about 15 or 16, and I broke my son and started beating the baseball bat in the head. They cut it by my neck, break the ribs. All the back of the city, fracture skull, two places skull fracture, and bungy upon the eyes, over the eyes. You know, at the hospital, they don't want to say, well, nothing can be done. They try. I think the doctors here, they try their best to save my nephew, but the time he came in and the state that he came in with, nothing could have been done. So my nephew passed one thirty-five this afternoon, and I am asking the Guyana police force to do something. We need justice. My nephew, all those who knew, knew my nephew, know that he's not a troublemaker. He don't be in certain things. I need justice for my nephew. He's easy going. He goes, he come on, uncle, whoever, he don't be in wrong business. I need justice. The police didn't do anything. We, I had to use my transportation, my vehicle, to transport police Saturday to go to scene and all of that. That is not fair. Um, something happened, an incident happened Friday. Nobody, when they went to the outpost, they, I can't remember exactly what they said they had rank or they don't, didn't have rank because of the cricket, whatever. So they didn't have any police to render assistance. They sent us to uh, Ivlery. The family is still seeking answers and want the police to do a thorough probe in the matter. Well, like that, they could, um, speedy investigation. And let me give me justice, God, my son, you could ask anybody, Indian, black, Chinese, in school, even to the own school as a principal, as an Indian man, they come and they talk very good about this. So don't ask anybody. My son is not them type of course. This is hard. This is my brother's only child. He's 19 years old, a student of a uh, uh, matter of fact, 19 years old. Roald was a second year student at GTI and lived with his parents at Pojoin, West Bank, Demerara.